Ryan Grimm speaking with Representative Ro Khanna. This is um, was this from uh, was this from his new show or the old show? It's like the new uh, Hill Friday show. No, Counter- I don't think that's with the Hill. Oh, counterpoints. Uh, counterpoints, I think, is with, it's with uh, uh, Crystal and Crystal Stogger. And, and oh, Stogger. oh, gotcha. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Uh, so this is um, new show. Counterpoints, okay. which, if if, if uh, my memory uh, is correct, was was more or less like the name of like a Saturday Night Live uh, fake show. But that's not important. Uh, here is Ryan Grimm um, and Emily uh, Jashinsky. Um, interviewing Ro Khanna about the continuing resolution, which is, uh, as you know, essentially the way of punting. Uh, they can't get enough to uh, votes to uh, completely redo the budget, I guess. Um, but this is to basically maintain funding at a certain level going into the uh, to the new year, and leadership has. Uh, indicated they want to add Joe Manchin's side deal to the continuing resolution because it is considered a must vote for Bill. Um, here is uh, that uh, question put to Ro Khanna. So on, on the question of, of NEPA reform, of, of uh, pi- pipeline reform, uh, wh- where, do, where do you stand on, on this kind of game of chicken that's going on between uh, progressives and Manchin and House leadership? Should, should this be uh, broken into a separate bill? And if it's not, would you, would you vote down the, 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 the CR, the continuing resolution, uh, in order to stop this pipeline reform from going forward? I would vote it down. Uh, and it's not just pipeline reform, it's a gutting of NEPA. I mean, you are basically saying you can't have any community uh, have more uh, claims after 150 days. Well, a lot of times it takes far more than 150 days for a community to, to figure out the negative impact. You're going to allow the president and the executive branch to permit uh, and uh, help create fossil fuel infrastructure where communities, frontline communities had already won. Uh, we're winning 90 percent and now the executive branch is going to get to overrule uh, judicial ruling so uh, this is not the permitting reform we need we can have a thoughtful conversation about how we build more clean energy battery plants solar and wind in this country and there may be challenges in, in terms of the impact on that on endangered species and then we can discuss what the trade-off is between building green and negative impacts of doing that and i am for looking at a healthy permitting reform to be able to build green but I'm not for a permitting reform that's going to allow us to build more fossil fuel infrastructure. This is not the permitting reform we need. What is your sense of uh, where like-minded people on the House side might stand um, when it comes to voting against the CR in this case? Do you think that there would be a a threat to the point where people have to come to the table? Um, Do you get the sense that others are willing to vote against it? Well, I know that uh, Bernie Sanders has said he would vote against it. I said I would vote against it. I think other people have said they prefer a clean CR. I don't know how many people have come on record to say, no, we won't vote for this, but they should because the the challenge is not those who are not going to vote for uh, a CR with which is going to gut environmental laws. The challenge is that why aren't we getting a clean CR? That's the problem of shutting down government. So I think we should be very clear that we will vote for a clean CR to keep government open. But if they don't send us a clean CR, that's that's where the blame lies for shutting down government. And I think we would then get a clean CR. Well, so if Bernie Sanders says that he's voting against it, at least for now, right, does that not essentially sink the continuing resolution if he votes against it in the senate i mean unless they get a republican which i don't think that they would um it would presumably uh sink it um i you know the 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 framing that kana is doing here is the blame goes to um uh leadership and i it'll be interesting to see if it if it was to pan out that way it Uh, should i mean but the problem is is that as soon as like the if if the continuing resolution gets shot down the entire media is going to blame bernie sanders and progressives for it without a doubt even though this was a backroom deal done by chuck schumer without telling anybody 
and uh, Joe Manchin when they needed to pass something, which was like the wildly reduced uh, skeleton of Build Back Better. And now it was the Inf- Inflation Reduction Act. And Chuck Schumer, without the input of anybody else in his caucus, it seems like, made this deal with Joe Manchin saying that he'll get his pipeline project. Like, I mean, that th- those are the set of facts. But of course, we know who the burden of blame is going to fall onto. Right. It's also one could also say, well, I mean, you had 50 Republicans vote against it, too. I mean, the, if there was a if there was a bolder Democratic Party and the press was a little bit different, but that also is something that it seems to me that like could have been a long term project of, of Democrats uh, in terms of like influencing the narrative. The narrative would be like the Republican Party has voted against the uh, the bill. All we did is lose one uh, Democratic uh, vote. We lost 50 Republican votes to keep the government open. But we'll see. And, you know, again, she, you know, Congress woman Omar had that point of like, you're also like talking about hundreds of thousands of people who won't get paid uh, and creates a tremendous amount of stress for them. That's what they're banking I, on. I yeah. am glad I don't have to make that decision. Well, it also depends on when this vote is held, right? Depends on if the vote is held at the 11th hour or if it's held where there's time for, I don't know, right? Yeah, my bet is 11th hour. Yeah, right? well, because then you can, then Bernie's like, well, I'm not going to get the people's paychecks are, are going to be in, in jeopardy here. And then he, the, the he'll likely cave but like that's the silliness of you know when we debate the dumb dumb left where they go well just do it anyway well the, but the reality is is that there are people's lives at stake and then you have to be the person in the position to that, that that's that's altering that i i will tell you what i would do if i was bernie sanders to prevent that last hour thing. i would say i have a doctor's appointment <laughs> in vermont uh on those last two days it's a two-day procedure i'm not gonna say what it is uh because it's personal of nature mm. and i would say like so you gotta have that vote a little bit earlier yeah and then i would say i decided to hold off on it it was a reconstructive yeah th- surgery I, my fit fa- and bernie had to put his facelift off for a yeah. day right yeah 